Well, it looks like Square Enix is one of the many Japanese companies that continue to ruin their history and ruin their women. And we are talking about the upcoming Dragon Quest HD 2D remake. And it looks like they have censored one of the female character models. And here's the original model for this warrior character. As you can see, beautiful woman. Interesting outfit. Looks cool. Cool helmet. Cool outfit. But then, then they just couldn't help themselves because the Japanese continue to listen to gay and American lesbians and here's a picture on the right. What the hell did they even do this for? So let's break it down. First they added this weird clothing under the bra. That just looks stupid. What woman wears clothing then puts a bra above the clothing or over the clothing? That makes no sense. It, it looks silly. What was the point of this? Who was getting offended by this? Women who don't play video games? This is just beyond dumb. It looks silly now. And it looks translucent on top of that. So is it a t-shirt or a crop top or not? Because you can still kind of see the the cleavage through it i don't i don't see what's the point of this it, it, it generally looks fucking dumb <sighs> <It just laughs> i don't see why so annoying like why can't we just have beautiful women in gaming anymore why is this such a bad thing you need to appeal to the male gaze men are the dominant audience when it comes to video games it is not 50 50 the esrb is lying to you i can show the capcom statistic and i'm going to keep bringing that up because they are the only ones that have the balls to show the analytics that's why it's so bizarre to me that people would just censor their games and piss the men off and expect to make the amount of money that you we're going to make just give us men what we want and what we want is beautiful women and entertainment men love beautiful women don't make this any more complicated I didn't even talk about the next part of the image as censored. And as you can see on the bottom, on the underwear area, under this armor piece, or I don't know what that armor piece is even called, but it looks even more stupider and more retarded because she is wearing clothing under the armor when the armor was specifically designed to show more skin and cover up the private area. Now, it just looks weird. You might as well just made a whole new outfit at that point. I don't see what's the point of just putting clothing under a design that was already made. Not both. Both of them look stupid. Both the bra area and the underwear area looks fucking stupid because you went out of your way to censor your game because what? Who got offended? A bunch of fat cat ladies that don't play games? A bunch of they them homosexuals that get mad at everything? Who got offended and asked for this shit to be changed? It wasn't the people who actually enjoy Square Enix's games. This is just beyond retarded and unnecessary. And this isn't even the first time they done this with this character. This version of the character is from Dragon Quest Treasures. And as you can see, they did the same pattern again. They put clothing under the bra. And again, it looks fucking dumb. No woman does that. You will look fucking retarded. Everybody will think that you're on drugs if you put your bra over your clothing. People will think you need to be locked up in an insane asylum if a woman actually did this. It's, just, it's insane. They did the same pattern again for the bottom part. Just put clothing under an armor that's not supposed to have clothing under it. And it looks, it looks silly. It's just so completely unnecessary. And the Japanese aren't going to like this. Because the Japanese aren't gay and just full of soy the japanese actually appreciate beautiful women you can see it in their marketing you can see it in some of their games of course some of the games like this are getting ruined so i can't really say much to that and you can definitely see it in anime when anime is known for having a bunch of beautiful women and bouncy jiggle physics that's one of the reasons why people enjoy anime because of the fan service of it so the japanese are not going to be happy with this an iconic franchise like dragon quest the Destroying a prominent character's design. Like, this is so fucking stupid and unnecessary. We have another example to look at. This is from Dragon Quest Rivals, and they did the same thing as the last design. Put clothing under the bar area, and put clothing under the underwear area. Same fucking character. Same stupid censorship that nobody even asked for. And I'm just wondering just why. Just why. What are you hoping to gain by this? Because you're not gaining any new fans by doing this. You're only pissing off the fans that are playing this game for decades and the people that you're trying to appeal to i'm assuming because you're probably getting some esg or you got some dei programs i don't know what's going on at square enix i do know they made the game for spoken which worked with a dei consultancy firm and that game was just a bunch of stereotypes a terrible protagonists ugly annoying it was just a laughing stock and embarrassment of a video game so this isn't the first time you guys have been doing some gay shit and this is not gonna get people excited for this brand new 
new remake. Doing stuff like this is why I do not like remakes, remasters, whatever, because these companies can't just look at something and make it again. They have to change it. They have to ruin the designs of the women. They have to make changes to the gameplay and graphics. They have to use it to push ideas in there. You can't just simply just look at something and make it again. I guarantee you a group of passionate fans can do a way better job. I say that every time with every remake we hear about because every single one has unnecessary changes. And I remember making a video a while back about how this game, this Dragon Quest HD 2D remake, is removing gender options from the game. You heard that correctly. You can't even pick male or female. You can click on that video and watch it on the top right corner. So not only are you ruining a woman, you're pushing this disgusting mental illness, this fake infinite genders bullshit, these weirdo trans freaks that belong in a mental hospital, they don't deserve to be in there. Everyone who calls themselves trans should be locked up in a mental hospital and given conversion therapy. These people are insane, violent, and psychotic. Why are you trying to appeal to these degenerate freaks that don't play video games? They're not gonna be the ones that get you the sales numbers you're looking for. These weirdos aren't gonna buy millions and millions of copies of this game. So what are you doing? Why are you disrespecting the fan base you already have for all these companies across every industry in society to appeal to the one percent what is the point of that when the 99 percent don't want to see this nasty shit this nasty pride and trans nonsense is disgusting it's weird it's a mental illness that makes no sense how all these companies just bending over for the one percent just rushing to appeal to this one percent of society that don't even buy anything so you're gonna lose money because you're turning away your fans the actual fans who've been supporting you for decades and decades and when they see nonsense like this it makes them not want to support you. This is all just retarded unnecessary and I'm definitely not even going to touch this retarded ridiculous fake remake and a lot of people are going to be turned off from this. I wonder what their sales numbers is going to be. Who knows if it's good or bad. Who knows if a lot of people even know about this. Most people are probably just going to play the game probably not thinking about this stuff or even know to look this up. It is what it is. For me personally I'm not touching it. You guys can do what you want and I don't have much else to say about this ridiculous retarded censorship. It's unnecessary and game developers need to stop doing this. I'd rather remakes and remasters not even be a thing if you're gonna do this every time. And that's pretty much it. Dragon Quest and Square Enix, go fuck yourself.